Today is a very special one, yet personal. You know, I really want to talk to you about a trap that we all fall into at some point in our lives. A trap that steals our joy and saps our motivation. You know, it hinders our progress. It, it is a, it's, a, it's a dangerous game of comparison. Picture this, you're scrolling through your social media feed, you're seeing your friends' exciting vocations, their picture-perfect relationships, you know, their nice car, you know, their accomplishment, you know, it seems flawless, you know, their life seems flawless. Suddenly, you, you begin to doubt yourself, you begin to doubt your own journey. You start questioning your own accomplishments, your own happiness, and, and whether you measure up. It is a game we all play, right? But that's why this part of this adversity challenge that we're going through is to help us break free from this type of adversity, comparison adversity. Let me tell you a little secret, okay? Comparison is the thief of joy. You've probably heard that phrase before. Comparison is the thief of joy. Even though you know this, you never truly acted on it. Do you want your joy to be stolen? Why do you have to compare? You know, we compare too many things. We compare ourselves to others. We compare shoe sizes, height, skin complexion, hair texture, financial level, accomplishment. We compare so many things. You know, even though we're a creature of competitiveness if that's how I'm gonna put it we are a very competitive creature now the only person you should be competing with is yourself compete with the version of you yesterday and try to be better today you, know, you can't live your own journey and and focus on what someone else got going on we lose sight of our own unique journey you know, and, and what truly matters to us. We get so caught up in the highlight reels of others that we forget to celebrate our own small victories and progress. I mean, especially since social media, man. You know, we get to see what's truly going on in other people's life and it may, it may seem like their life is all sweet and glamorous every single day and, and yours isn't. Like me, for example, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a new creator and uh, someone who is very passionate about empowering others and giving value to, to people who are tuning in to this channel. It's like me comparing myself to someone who's got 500,000 subscribers who's been doing it for five, 10 years straight. Now I'm gonna be sad because I don't have the same level of accomplishment as someone who's been in the game longer than me. See, instead, I am focused on my journey. I'm focused on delivering value. I'm fo focused on creating and, you know, starting up a challenge pertaining to the channel that people can follow along with to help them become the best version of themselves every single day. You know, I am pouring my, ha my heart and my soul into my craft. Now, this isn't the only thing I do. However, it's it's one of the most you know important thing on my schedule because I get to pour out my heart to people, you know, give value to people. And give value to myself as well. See, you finish a chapter proud of the words you've written. But then you stumble upon, you know someone who's written a longer story or who's been on a journey longer than you who's got a story to tell and then, then you begin to compare yourself to the journey and say man i can't make it no you can be inspired by them and say well i'm next see i've got less than 500 subscribers right now i'm next not because I want subscribers, I actually want people that will tune into the channel. I want people that 
actually getting value from the content that this channel is delivering. I want to leave my own legacy. I've got my own journey. You know, check this scenario out, okay? You, you are an aspiring entrepreneur. You know, you're building your own business from the ground up. You see others in your industry making massive strides, gaining recognition, and racking in profits. And all of a sudden, the temptation to compare can be overwhelming. But, but remember, comparison is a deceiver. It tricks you into thinking that their success diminishes your own success. But the truth is their journey is not yours. Their path is not yours. And their definition of success is not yours. Point blank period. You're your own person. You've got your own unique path and destiny. You see, we are all unique beings with different talents, passions, and dreams. Our journeys are like fingerprints, distinct and individual. When we avoid the trap of comparison, we open ourselves up to embrace our own strength, to nurture our own talents, and to define success on our own terms. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, like, you know, let's, let's focus on progress. Let's celebrate the small steps we take towards our goals, no matter how insignificant they may seem. Let's find inspiration in the achievements of others. Like I, like I said earlier, let other people's success inspire you. You can aspire to be like someone, which means, man, I want to be just as successful. I'm next in line. But focus on your own journey because the, the race is not the same, you know. It's just like if someone did a hundred meters or let's say a mile. If someone did a mile under six minutes and you know, these are professional runners, whatever. And all of a sudden you never ran in your life and you made it in 15 minutes. Now, you, you're not excited, you're disappointed. Well, you just got to realize this is not something you've been doing for a long period of time. You're new to the game. And you should be proud of yourself. At least you completed the task. You know, use or find inspirations in, in the achievements of, of others, not a measure of your own worth. You know, someone else's achievement is not the measure of your own worth. It should be a reminder that greatness is achievable. So now, all right, your challenge which is my challenge as well, which I've been so focused during this adversity challenge. And this is the next challenge I am focused on, is to break free from the chains of comparison, okay? I will celebrate my uniqueness and embrace my own journey, and so should you. Remember your own story. Your story is like, not like everyone else, really much. You will get a chance to tell your story if you keep putting in work and achieve your own success. Your worth cannot be measured by someone else's yardstick. Okay? My standard will be measured based on the effort I put in, not based on someone else's effort. I should now navigate this chaos, beautiful chaos, man, called life. You know, cheer each other on, all right? Lift one another up. You know, find someone to inspire. Don't tear each other down. Let's create a culture where comparison has no place. Where support and encouragement reign supreme. If you keep comparing yourself to someone who's been in an opportunity longer than you and, and you, you begin to get sad and angry, yeah, you, you're going to get sad and angry. But that person's success or achievement is not the reason why. It's not their fault for you not achieving the same. You got to focus on your growth and development 
on getting to the same level. I encourage you to avoid comparison. It's, it's just like when people live in your head rent free. You know, you, you constantly think about how great they are or how terrible someone is. Is that they're great or terrible? Either way, they're gonna live in your head rent free. You know, embrace your own journey, celebrate your own victories. Remember that your worth and potential are immeasurable. The only person you should compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday. Be the best version of yourself. And the world will be a better place because of it. I hope you're able to get value today. I hope you, you accept this challenge today. And I hope you walk your unique path with confidence joy and the knowledge that you are enough just as you are.